someone slamming doors or something. Right, okay. Scrap brain zone. Now this zone is exactly the same as Master System. I think they've added in a few more enemies to make things a bit tougher. I have found myself getting a little bit more frustrated on here and dying a lot more than I would do normally, so I pick up that life, there we are. And there you go, I picked up the life and I died. Not good. Pick up the rings. Shame the life doesn't respawn. I know in Sonic 2, like, the lives and stuff respawn. You can actually pick them up again, which is really cool. Oh, and I just died. Ah, oh, I keep getting caught out by those electro... whatever they are. The things producing electricity, anyway. I guess because I'm in such a hurry to get through this. Oh. Right, and I'm dying. I, I don't normally have any problems with this zone, so I don't know why I'm dying. Um, really unusual, to be honest. There we are, made it. Right, I'm not going to fall for this trick again. It doesn't matter anyway about collecting too many rings because it won't let me go into the special stages anyway so my only real incentive is to um, try and go for some extra lives but they're really hard to, they're not that hard to get but you've got to be a really skilled gamer in order to get like the more I think. It's not necessary to collect the more but if you can get a healthy amount that's good. There we go. There we go, it's the first act over with. Extra life, there you go. How's about that then? The game's rewarded me with an extra life. Right, here we go. Scrap Brain Zone Act 2. Right, now. This is going to be a little bit trickier. The Chaos Emerald we need to get, oh god, is, um, can be quite hard to find, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I do apologise, I'm just trying to concentrate on this bit. Not easy. I need the Chaos Emerald. I know how to get it, but it's, it's like a little bit of a puzzle, you got to solve a little bit of a puzzle in order to get to it. Christ almighty. God, man, the developers are sadists. There we are. Right. Well, I know how to get it anyway, the old emerald. It's not hard to, to, to get to, but I think one, if you don't know how to get it, it can be difficult. You need to go up here first. And through this little door. Because it's like this huge maze. And then go up and then across these pits and then it's like at the very last pit you need to drop down. Oh come on. Sorry guys, too impatient. Drop down here. Up through the door. Into the teleporter. Go up and then Chaos Emerald. Now you probably think where do I go now? Well we go up Oh god, he says as he gets hit by one of those but the I don't know what they are, they look like birds or pigs or something. Right, okay. I need to uh do this again now. So basically I need to go upwards, I need to press the button in order to give me an exit. I can just get up, that would be nice. There we go. Oh, come on! Um, I'm not really sure 
and why I'm dying here, I think because I've never died before on those bits. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I'm getting really frustrated there. As I said, um, I did say right from the beginning that this is harder on Game Gear basically and it throws in a lot of obstacles at you. Too much in my opinion. I'm trying to stay away from those bad guys, the pink ones. There we are. What you need to do is you need to go through here and you need to pop up here and check it out. You need to push that button. And then we need to go all the way back down now. Just get out of here and just go down. And then to the left. You're probably thinking, well, why are we going back? Don't don't you need to go forward? Well, to go back. Oh, I've done it again. <sighs> okay, that's fine. I'm trying to stay calm. To go forward, I need to go back, is what I'm trying to say. Right. So hopefully, um, I'm hoping that I won't have to push that switch again. If I do, it's going to be really annoying. I don't think I actually do, so I'm going to just pop down here and just hope that the door's going to be open for me. So we will pop down here and see what we will see. Down. Yeah, I'm trying not to get frustrated as well because this game has me tearing my hair out so it's, it's like another challenge as well is to try not to get annoyed because I do think this game does throw a lot at Game Gear and it's like I do have a lot of empathy for anybody playing this on Game Gear because it's certainly a challenging game and you really earn your game stripes with it there we are good the door is open for me, so that's good. At least I can get to the end. Even if I've got no rings, that's okay. I'm going to get to the end of this nightmare. And look at that, see, they, they throw in that enemy just to mess with you towards the end. Right. An extra life, maybe? There you go. But the game does reward you as well, so it's not too bad. So even though I'm losing lives, I'm actually getting some as well. Scrap Rain Zone Act 3. Now this is not really a boss act, to be honest, because it's just kind of a chase. You just chase your bike to the next zone, which um, unfortunately is Sky Base. I can't go that way. I have to go down, I think. There you go. Pick up some cheeky little rings. There we go. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, um to the left, I think. It's to the left, yeah. It's the rule is it's generally to the left and then up. I'm going to press that switch again because the door didn't open. There we are. It doesn't always open for some reason when you press it once. I think maybe I've got to be on it a little longer. And there we are. Not and out. 65 rings. Now check it out. You just chase Robotnik. And he's on his lift. He doesn't do a lot. Right, we're coming up to um, the last zone now, which is Sky Base. Now Sky Base is horrible on Game Gear. Uh, this is why I need all those lives and continues because I'm going to die quite a lot on this zone. So expect a lot of uh, frustrations.